hello hello everybody welcome back to another video we have got a crock pot video i've got three super easy and delicious crock pot recipes for you guys and i cannot wait to show you they were all super delicious and if there's any recipe links i will have them linked down below um the meatballs i just kind of do um those are just i guess my recipe i've created over the years um and the uh the other two i'll have those recipes linked down below so i hope you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started We are back in the kitchen for another crock pot video. So to start out, we are going to do some breakfast prep. I wanted to try this recipe for Luke for um, for his breakfast prep. I I've said this several times, but he works third shift. And so whenever he comes home in the morning, he eats breakfast and then he goes to bed. So I like to do like something that he can have that he can just heat up in the microwave or, you know, in the air fryer or something and then have quick a quick breakfast because... I'm one of those mamas that doesn't get up early yet. <laughs> Winston and I sleep in, so I always try to prep something. So this one is going to be cheesy sausage and potatoes. So you're gonna need some cheese. Um, I'm using the Potato O'Brien, so it already has the onions and peppers in it. I did this because I know Luke would like this. The recipe itself just calls for regular potatoes. Um, and then you add an onion. So I'm not gonna do the onion and I'm just gonna do this. A can of cream of chicken. You'll need a can of milk. And then um, you're gonna need your sausage. So I'm gonna use the smoked sausage. We'll get it diced up, get everything put in the lovely slow cooker. So I get a ton, a ton of questions um, on this crock pot here. So my sister got it for me for Christmas and she got it in Nashville. She told me the name of the store and I can't remember. I'll ask her again and I'll put it on the screen. Um, but it's just a local store and she said she looked online and they didn't have any online. She said it's literally like they'll get stuff in and then once it's gone, it's gone. They don't get it, they don't restock or anything. Um, and so unfortunately, we weren't able to find one for you guys where I can link it. But I did look on eBay because I had, like I said, I had several questions on it. I absolutely love it but if you look on ebay they're pretty pricey but you can get one like this on ebay and this isn't a wrap or anything this is all one piece um this whole design um all around it is all one piece i've shown us that i've shared it several times so it's just like printed on there so i absolutely love it so if you're interested look on ebay you're going to be paying a pretty penny for it but i love this thing totally worth it. <laughs> so let's get all this prepped up and get it put in there. I found this recipe on Pinterest, so I'll have the original recipe link down below. I am going to be preparing it different in my slow cooker just from past experience on using cream soups and whatnot. Um, and like, to me, this is like a casserole style crock pot recipe. So I am gonna change that up, but just refer to the original recipe. So I'm gonna dump literally everything in. I'm gonna save me some cheese for the top of it. But I'm gonna dump everything in here and give everything a good mix. Then we'll top it with cheese and then put the lid on it and cook it for about four hours. Um, I did notice that the recipe said defrosted potatoes, but we're just gonna go in with the frozen and hope for the best. And 
I'm gonna add some seasonings. This is also away from the recipe, but y'all know me, I can't not season. I, I just, I have to season my food. It is important. And season with your heart. Season how you know your family's gonna enjoy it. I always say that on my channel. It's your kitchen. You use what seasonings you know your family's gonna enjoy. So I've got my sausage here. Add it all in. And then, we're just gonna give everything a good mix. I feel like using the potato brine is gonna be really good for this, um, especially if you like onions and peppers, like Luke does. I feel like it's really gonna make a big difference in this recipe, give you some, give you some extra flavor and whatnot, so. And you could also use cream of mushroom, cream of celery, whatever cream soup you like. I know a lot of, a lot of people like different things, so just use whatever. So I'm just going to kind of press all this down as much as I can and get it even. And then we're going to top it with the remainder of cheese. just gonna cook on low for about three and a half to four hours. So here's what it looks like y'all. It's a little on the soupy side but I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, I tasted it and it's got really good flavor. So I'm going to turn it off and then I'm gonna let it um, completely cool. And then I'm gonna show you how I package it to, you know, cause I said I'm meal prepping this for my husband. So I'm gonna show you how I portion it out and how I'm going to top it off for him. So that way he can just pull it out of the fridge, pop it in the microwave and have a quick and easy breakfast. So I just added the eggs on top and then um, the egg recipe, it's I tried a new egg recipe for my cookbook and that video will be out Friday. So stay tuned for that um, egg recipe because it came from a cookbook. So my cookbook video will be out on Friday, but I'm just going to top this with some cheese and then let them completely cool and then we'll just pop them in the fridge and then all he has to do in the morning Pop it in the microwave, heat it up, and he's got a nice hearty breakfast. We are getting the meatballs made um, so I can put them in the slow cooker. So I've got three pounds of hamburger meat here. We'll see how many it gets us. I want to have at least a few to put back in the freezer as meatballs so I can pop them out as needed. So you're gonna need some eggs. You'll need some Dijon mustard. I'm gonna use paprika, salt, pepper. Um, if you don't have minced garlic, then you can use garlic powder. I'm gonna chop a little fine onion and put in here also. You don't see it, I have to pull it out of the pantry. And then some breadcrumbs. And then I normally use um, Worcestershire but I'm all out. So I normally, like I said, I normally would add Worcestershire in this. You wanna make sure that they're very well seasoned, flavor filled meatballs because you're going, um, as they slow cook, the tomato sauce, um, you're, it's gonna like pull all the flavoring and kind of marry with the tomato sauce and your flavorful meatballs. It's just gonna kind of marry all together. So we'll get everything combined. Winston's here to help. Get everything mixed up. We got our three pounds here. I'm gonna add in this half of an onion. 
I did um, fine dice, just personal preference. We're going to go in with a couple tablespoons of garlic. Um, use however much you want. And if you don't have minced garlic, then just use garlic powder. Like I said, you want these meatballs packed with flavor. Because you're going to be um, using just tomato sauce. So you want to, the tomato sauce is going to pull all that flavor. So a couple tablespoons. No max. It's so weird. A couple tablespoons of Dijon mustard. <clears throat> like I said, I normally do Worcestershire sauce. I'm so upset that I don't have any, but it'll be fine. Good amount of paprika. Some salt. And some pepper. Probably about a fourth to half a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm using panko breadcrumbs. And then I'm going to do one egg per pound of meat. Now I'm just going to put my gloves on. I'm really tired of it. And get in here and mix it all. If you don't like seeing this, then just skip on. But I'm not scared. You get in here and get all this mixed together. It's really good. So just by the look of it, I can tell it needs more seasoning. So I'm gonna go in with this 1836 beef rub. It's just kind of a combination of a bunch of different things. But it needs, needs more seasoning. Consistency wise, it feels good with the amount of breadcrumbs that I added and the eggs, so. We're not going to add any more of that. It just needs some more flavor. More flavor. Ooh. Meat rub. Okay. Mom, you know that does look yummy. Mm-hmm. Kind of so now we're just going to... Roll it up. Ball them up into meatballs. We'll come back once we do that. Yeah! We got them all rolled out. So I'm going to kind of sear them on both sides. Um, get them started cooking that way there's not as much grease in my slow cooker when i'm putting when you know it's slow cooking um 
I've done it both ways. I've done it where I haven't seared it and it turns out fine. And then I've also do it where I sear it. So this time I'm gonna sear it, but you can do either. You'll just have more grease um, just like at the bottom, but you can like just kind of scoop that off before you serve it. So that is totally up to you. Like I said, I've done it both ways, but I've got time today, so I'm going to sear them. I cooked our meatballs. They're not all the way done, but they are cooked a little bit. Just rendered off some of that fat. That way, like I said, there's not as much in the crock pot. So I'm gonna take and just move them ever so gently in here. And then we'll just cover them with our tomato sauce. These are so good. So to me, a lot of people just do like, say like, I've seen recipes for like the meatball stroganoff where it's like the cream, you know, mushroom uh, meatball style. And then you, the biggest thing is like, um, you know, like Italian style meatballs, like where you do spaghetti sauce. Um, and you can totally do spaghetti sauce. <clears throat> but this is a good version where it's kind of like versatile to um, a lot of things. Like when you use, you've packed all your meatballs with really good flavor. And so then you're gonna pour that tomato sauce. And then as it cooks slowly over the next few hours, it's just gonna kind of marry everything together. And these are perfect served over um, mashed potatoes. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna cook up, um, we're also gonna do some slow cooker mashed potatoes. I've shared those before. I'll have that video listed in the description box because I'm not gonna share that again. Um, but slow cooker mashed potatoes are the bomb, y'all. So good. So we got all of our meatballs in here. And then I just got a 29 ounce can of tomato sauce and you're just gonna pour it over there. That's it. Just pop them on low, let them cook low and slow. Marry all them flavors together. So as you see, there is a little grease in there, but you can just take and like ladle that out and pour it out to the side. But if you had to put these in raw, completely raw, then there would be a lot more grease than this. So like I said, I do, I've done them either way. It really doesn't matter to us. I just, if I don't cook them, cook them half, like sear them halfway before, then I just scoop all that out. But it smells so good in here. We got our meatballs. And then we got our crock pot mashed potatoes. I have a whole recipe on this um, separate video, so I'll have it linked down below. Crock pot mashed potatoes are so easy. So, got dinner done. That's it. Okay, so we got about five boneless, skinless chicken thighs here. Sorry it's dark, but I'm trying to keep it cool in the house so I don't have any lights or anything on. We're gonna go in with one can of Rotel. Just pour it in with the juices and all. And just kind of spread it around. One can of black beans, rinsed and drained. One can of corn, drained. Oops. 
And then you're gonna throw on one block of cream cheese. And that's it. Yeah. We're gonna let it cook for about four hours. And then we will shred the chicken and serve it over rice. Yep, that's what we're doing. It literally took me two minutes to get this in the slow cooker. Really? Yep. Two minutes? Mm -hmm. You got this in the trash for me? Yes. Throw all those cans in the trash? Yes, I can. Got it. So, two minutes, put all that in there, and then we'll let it cook, and then just make the rice once dinner is ready to be served. Cook it on low for about four hours. So I realized that I forgot an important ingredient and it was the taco packet. So I just sprinkled it on top. And now it can get cooking. I think it's done, y'all. So I just like to take my meat chopper and just shred that chicken up. So if you're curious, since I added the taco meat, the taco packet on top, if I had done it the right way and not forgot about the taco packet, I would have sprinkled that packet over the chicken and then dumped all the cans in. So in case you're wondering since I messed that up. But we're just gonna get all this shredded up and then we will serve it over rice. We're ready to eat, y'all. We got the creamy fifth chicken. We got sour cream. Um, this is all the cheese we got, so that's what we're gonna use. <laughs> I would normally do like a Mexican style blend, but this is gonna work just as good. And I did cook up some rice. I just made this Mexican style rice aroni. So we got that, and then we've got chips, and we've also got soft shells if you want to do like you know that in like a soft taco style and i'm not even gonna lie i may have already had one and it was really delicious so we've got options but i'm excited because this is good i've already had, i may have already tasted it and that is it y'all i hope you enjoyed these three crock pot recipes I'm sorry that there was some distraction in this video, but real life over here, I got a dog and a kiddo, so there's nothing I can do about it, but I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.